Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Jumair Jangi Ravasi. Kya hale bata aapke? Chinke? Today I am going to do general physical examination. In general physical examination, first of all, you need to introduce yourself, take consent, proper exposure. Bata aapko thoda sa check up karna hai, hum kar le? Yes. Thank you. Initially, you need to tell the patient to do a walk. Bata, walk karke dikhaye. वापस आए मेरी तरफ शाबाश अब मेरे पास आ जाए देन यू नीड टू चेक द वेट ऑफ द पेशेंट यहां खड़े हो जाए आपका वजन कर लें ओके अब वहां दीवार के साथ आ जाए आपकी हाइट कर लें यहां आ जाए When you are going to take height of a patient, then you have to make sure that the shoes should be taken off. बेटा अपने दोनों पाँव दीवार के साथ लगा दें, दीवार के साथ ऐसे पाँव पीछे कर लें, ये पाँव भी पीछे कर लें. The buttocks should also touch the wall, and the head should touch the wall. The head should be straight. Once you have aligned all the uh, parameters of the child. Then you need to have a card with you. Place the card over the wall. Mark the point of the card. And then, beta wale acho. Then ask the child to get ahead. And then you need to then you need to Take the height of that point till the floor. Once you have taken the height, then ask the patient to come on the couch again. Yeah, other picture. Upper bad chain. लेट है बेटा ऐसे ऊपर हो जाए बस ऐसे हो जाए ठीक है ऐसे हो जाए ऐसे शाबाश यू नीड टू बी वेरी जेंटल विद द पेशेंट वंस यू हैव मेक हिम वॉक यू हैव टेकन द वेट इन द हाइट द थर्ड थिंग इज टू टेक द हेड सर्कमफ्रेंस ऑफ द चाइल्ड फॉर टेकिंग हेड सर्कमफ्रेंस यू नीड टू नोट द वेट ग्लाबाला and where is the occiput from occiput to glabella take the head circumference of the patient once you have taken the head circumference of the patient then you need to start the rest of the general physical examination right from the hands and before doing it make sure that the patient is having a good exposure Once you have done the proper exposure, then you need to start from the hands. Better, hand dikhaen. Dusre bhi hand dikhaen. In hands, look for the symmetry of the hands. Both better, dono hand aayega. Dono hand kare. Look for the symmetry of the hands. Note, is there any extra digit present? Look for the pallor, look for the semi increase, look for the any shorter in curved finger, look for clubbing. For clubbing, you can ask the patient to join both uh, fingers like this and see whether there's a space in between. Or you can use the card method as well. In card method, you should have a card and you need to place that card over the finger. Over the finger, and you need to see whether there is a space in between your card and the finger. So after checking clubbing, look for the spoon-shaped nails, calonychia, then the knuckles, and then come on the wrist. Look for the signs of rickets. In rickets, the wrists are white. Then, in the similar fashion, 
check the pulse. You will move from hands to the head and then go to the uh, feet so that you may not miss something. When you are checking the pulse, the hand should be slightly flexed. You have two fingers should be on the artery and you need to check the pulse. Once you check the pulse, measure it, then compare the pulse with the other radial artery for the radio radial delay and then compare it with the femoral pulsation to see any radio femoral delay. Once you have checked the pulse of the patient, go to the blood pressure. I'm not checking it just to save the time, but you need to check the blood pressure of the patient. Then as you move along, you need to see is there a BCG scar present over the deltoid or not. So look for the BCG scar, then go to the head. Look for the hairs, or the hairs, is there any signs of malnutrition in hairs? Are the hairs easily pluckable? Are they brittle? Is there any alopecia? Then look at the forehead. How is the forehead? Is there any signs of frontal bossing as seen in rickets? Then look at the eyes. In eyes, you have to see both jaundice and power. At the upper part of sclera, you will look for the jaundice, and at the lower part of the sclera, you will look for the pallor. Once you have checked the eyes, then you need to see the ear, nose, and throat dorsally. So, before looking at the ear, nose, and throat, you need to see the oral hygiene as well. See how is the oral hygiene, how is the tongue, how are the lips, how are the teeth. Ah. Look at the throat, is it congested or is there any tonsils present. Then look at the uh, nose. In nose, any deviation, any secretions, any foreign body. Then have a look at the ears for any discharge. I believe the ears should be uh, checked with an otoscope. Then come at the lymph nodes. For checking the lymph nodes, go at the back of the patient and check the lymph nodes gently. Palpate the anterior lymph nodes, anterior cervical lymph nodes, the supraclavicular lymph nodes the posterior cervical lymph nodes and the uh, jugulodigastric uh, lymph node. Once you have checked the lymph nodes, then <clears throat> ask the patient to lie down. Look for the Thorat swelling in the neck. Ask the patient to take a sip of water or just to uh, trickle the saliva down so that you can see the thorat movement. Thorat is well moving. There is no swelling at the neck. Then you need to see the chest and the abdomen of the patient for any asymmetry, for any bruises, pratiki, any dysmorphology or any other visible abnormality. Then you need to see the genitalia of the patient, look at it very gently, just pulling the trouser up, looking at inside. During this examination, you should have in your mind that I am looking for any gonadism, signs of puberty, any uh, hernia present or any other abnormality which can be found in uh, around the genitalia like hydrocele, like uh, scrotal edema and, and things like this. And you need, then you need to come on the lower limbs and in the lower limbs 
you will see again whether any particular bruises or any rash present or not and then palpate for the pedal edema and press for few seconds with your thumb over the medial medullus of both lower limbs and after few seconds see whether there is pit or not or the edema is present or not if you find edema then you need to see the extent of the edema you need to press with the thumbs over the shins then over the thighs and you need to establish what is the extent of the edema the edema which is present over the feet is it extended on the legs going to the thighs and if you find edema around the ankles then must also look for scrotal edema uh, sorry the secular edema also so put a thumb over the sacrum and look for the scrotal edema also and once you are checking for the scrotal edema don't forget to see the spine also so once you have done with the spine cover the patient and say thank you to the, to the patient thank you so much